Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight M's in my bank account. Yeah, 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 in my bank account. Hey guys, back with another video. If you don't already know now, Shade of the Universe, I'm Deja, and I wanted to tell you how people pay me to wait for things <laughs> um yeah so basically line standing what is it line stand it's pretty self-explanatory it's uh waiting in line for different things for people it could either mean i wait in line i get a good or something like say i get shoes i get tickets i get something and then after i get out of line i give it to the person and they give me money or it can mean i wait in line and then because someone can't make it on time and then they come and we switch out so like i'm sitting in line and someone comes and then they take my place and then i leave um uh if you see me looking down looking at my notes because i'm trying to um stay on track uh how did i get started um how did how did i get started okay so basically i uh got quiet from my job and i said quiet it's a word i made up i got quit fired because I got sick and they were talking to me like I wasn't allowed to get sick even though this is my first time I ever did not come into work. So there was like a problem and I was just like fuck this I don't want to come back but I wanted to get unemployment to like hold me until I got another job. So I was like well due to unemployment like you can't quit a job. Kidding. Kidding. You, can, you can't quit a job and get unemployment. So I was like, okay, I'll just have them fire me and then I can get unemployment until I get another job. So I was only out of work for like a couple of days and I was looking for a new job and I was on Craigslist and like I, I found all my jobs on Craigslist actually. That's how I got the job. I just left. Those are going to dog daycare. Um, so I was on Craigslist and there was this guy was like, there was this big, um, art exhibit yoyoi kasuma at the hishhorn downtown dc and this guy was like it was really hard to get into every every like fucking like week like every day the tickets you got you were allowed to get tickets at 10 o'clock um you were allowed to get tickets at 10 o'clock and like people would be waiting in line like they said the earliest seven, but it was way, people were standing in line way earlier than that. So whenever I would try to go, like, I would come at like eight, nine, fucking packed. And they would only have like a certain number of tickets a day. So it was like, they would have like, first they started off small, it was like a hundred tickets. And then they went up to like 400 tickets. And I think max one day was like a thousand, but it still wasn't enough. <laughs> and it was, it was just crazy. So this guy on Craigslist was like, oh, um, wait in line for me and I'll give you $40. And I was like, I can do that. So I emailed him. He never emailed me back. But from there, I was like, wait, people would probably pay me to wait in line for this shit. I'm gonna do this. So I literally like hopped up and I made a flyer. I was like, I'm gonna make a flyer and I'm gonna go down there and pass them out. Um, I made like 20 flyers. I'm like, even if one person pays me to stand in line, that's some quick money right there to just wait in line. Like who the hell cares? So I made the, quickly the flyer was my name. Like it was a cute little picture of people standing in line um my number and my email address and how much i charge um i started out so yeah the next um pricing like i started out really low i that it was it's kind of embarrassing low i started um i was p doing based on tickets but basically you're paying people are paying you for your time because like they don't want to wait so they're paying you to wait and I didn't get that till like a few times later, but I was basically charging out a number of tickets. People were allowed to get up to four tickets. And um, I was like, if you want to get one to two tickets, give me $20 to wait. And if you want all four, three to four tickets, give me $40 to wait. So, yeah. So um, I started standing the first time I stood. No, okay. So I went down there and I passed them out. I was really, really shy at first. I'm a really shy person. Um... I'm a really shy person, but I have to like talk to myself to get the fuck out of it because I'm like, 
bitch, you ain't got a job. Like, get some quick money real quick. Because, like, once once I talk myself out of it, I do it. Because I take um, pictures and shit, like, everywhere. I take it in front of people. I've taken pictures, like, on my stand in front of crowds. I did videos in front of crowds. Like, I, I, like, passed public speaking. I, like, spoke for my graduation. Like, I know how to, like, talk in front of people. It's just, I got to build up my nerves. Like, come on, come on, come on, you can do it. So, finally, after I got up the nerve to do it, I was like, Huh. And then I have this certain voice that people tell me it's like it's like it, my voice changes. It's like my seller voice, and I noticed that when I worked retail. So it's like, hey, like I was saying, like don't want to wait in line. Pay me to wait in line for you. It's a hot day. You don't want to wait in line with your kids. Come and wait in line for you. Like pay me to wait in line for you. Like I was saying, like little like funny things. Like I was saying, like informative things and I'll come around and say funny things. I was like, don't you, would you rather be in bed and just meet me, pay me to wait in line for you? Like I was just saying stuff like that. I can't remember off the top of my head. It was all off the dome. And you're gonna get looks. You're gonna get fucking looks. People are gonna look at you like bitch. Cause I got a lot of bitch looks. I got a lot of bitch looks. It was like bitch, why the fuck would I pay you to wait in line? Don't you see me waiting in line? Don't you see me waiting in line? I can do it my motherfucking self, bitch. And I was just like, all right, okay, like whatever. Some people, some people was like, cause what you gotta do, what you gotta do when you make a flyer, go to the fucking back of the line. You gotta go to the back of the line where people are fucking like desperate at that point. You're just like, I am in the back of the line. But people, people have hopes though. They're like, I don't need that. We're, we're going to get in. We're going to get, like, I have people tell me, we're going to get in. I'm positive. And then the lady would come around because every time, like, the tickets would get low, she would come, like, towards the back and be like, we only have 100 tickets left. And people would be looking like, we can get in. This is 100 people. I'm like, no, bitch. There's, like, 2,000 people. Like, first, you got to scope out the area, see how many people it is. And then you got to scope and see, like, okay. Who are you going to target? Sometimes I will wait to see if the line will get a little longer. That actually helps because sometimes, like, it looks like the line is long, but all those people get in. So sometimes you just got to wait because, like, sometimes, like, damn, I would have targeted the wrong person and then my flyer would have went to waste. Back to the first time I went around, some people were, like, interested. They were like, oh, like, would you do shoes and stuff? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, of course. And they're like, oh, how much do you charge? I'm like, my prices are right here. You can email me, blah, blah, blah. I had like, my first time, I had like a couple of people take it. But actually, once like the lady came around and said, there's no more tickets for today. Because I went from the back and I like went to like the middle or whatever. Because like, I was like, all right. When she said like 100, 200 tickets left, I was like, let me keep going further up the line. I was just like, you know, saying like, hey, pay me to wait in line for you. Like, take my flyer or whatever. And like, when she said no more tickets, people bum rushed the hell out of me. And I like didn't have enough flyers at that point. And I just had to like, you know, like give people my number or whatever. It's like, yeah, hit me up. So yeah, that's how it is. But don't, you're going to get a lot of looks. You're going to get, some people will blatantly like, don't, don't push it in nobody's face. You made these, fly these flyers came from my home. They came with my ink, my paper. If someone didn't want to take it, I was not going to force it on them. I'd rather have somebody with a higher opportunity that would give me money than someone that's like, oh, I'm going to throw it away. Like, like, bitch, this is not, this is not like a flyer to a club and it's like trying to get it out as many people. No, if they don't take it, just keep moving. Somebody's going to take it. Okay, so keep going to the first one. Um, two people hit me up. I had two people. Well, it was, it was three people, actually. It was three people for the next weekend. So it was two women. They wanted tickets for Saturday. It, they were friends, but they was, two, they was two together. It was two separate people, but they was coming together, and they wanted tickets for Saturday. And then there was another guy and his family, and he wanted tickets for Sunday. And I'm like, okay, cool. Um, I went the next day to, like, drop off some flyers, and... Um, I got a couple more people, but it was for, like, the week. Everybody wanted to come on the weekend because, like, you know, people have to work. Nobody wants to, like, come. And I think, like, the museum was closing at, like, 5. So, yeah, uh, fast forward to me actually standing in line. I probably stood in line the first time maybe, like, four hours. Uh, um, it wasn't all that bad. Uh, probably four or five hours. The thing opened at 10. I think I got there at, like, 7. Yeah, I think I got there at like seven or whatever. And um this is this is this is what sparked everything. I like got the tickets, I came out, 
Um, I told them to meet me. They wanted tickets at like 12 or whatever. And so they, we like handed off, they gave me cash. I gave them, you know, the tickets. Um, like I said, I was charging, they wanted one ticket each or something, one or two tickets each. And, um, $20. These bitches tipped me 60 fucking dollars. I was like, what? So how it happened was I was like, yeah. And it was like, thank you so much for this, sir. You're going to get a lot of that. I got a lot of that. People was thanking me like I was fucking Jesus Christ. Like I was dead ass, like not hustling them to get some money. Like, bitch, I like, I'm like, what? Like they was treating it like I was dead ass fucking uh, a fucking nun. And I'm doing this for the people like, no, I just want some money, but thanks. And they're like, thank you so much for doing this for me. And yeah, like we're going to tell all our friends about you. And they did. They did too. They told their friends about me. That's another thing. Word of mouth is a really big thing. Cause even if the flyers and like Craigslist, cause I also put ads on Craigslist, um, don't work. Word of mouth is a motherfucker. Cause like if you do a job, if you do a line standing job and it actually goes through like, then you got clientele. Then word of mouth is so much bigger than anything else because then they're like, yeah, I know this person. Look how cool I am. I, I paid someone to stand in line. Let me put you on. And then that's how I got most of the people. So anyway, it was like, yeah, like we're going to tell our friends about you. Um, we're going to tell our friend that like owns this company. You need to charge more. It was telling me you need to charge more for this. This is, this is a lot. You, you, we're going to tell her and you need to charge our friend way more. And I was like, okay, cool. Thank you. So I like left and I was like, bitch, I just got a hundred dollars. Oh, twenty dollar job. Like I'm, I'm fucking enthusiastic. I'm like, wow, these bitches tipped me. They tipped me. I didn't think they would tip me. Like I was just like, wow. So then I told you I had one Sunday. He wanted a family, so it was supposed to be forty dollars. I think he tipped me forty dollars, and I was like, okay, this is a fucking sign that I need to charge more. I need to fucking charge more. So in the meantime, I had a couple of people that were scattered throughout the the week that was like. You know, I was still charging 20, I was still charging this and that, but from there I was like, I need to charge more. So I went and I made new flyers, and um, I had to start charging by the hour. Especially, like, I, I started charging by the hour. So basically, there's this actual professional line standing company in New York. And what we did was took what the fuck their premise, their whole chart was, and used that for myself. So I'll answer it here because I can I can add it I can add it somewhere. And basically they was charging like two hours, like fifty dollars or forty five, and then from there, cause like I was standing a long time, and then at the end of it I was only getting like I did maybe like four four or five line standing jobs with the twenty dollars, and then from there I was like. People kept tipping me really well, I guess because it was so fucking low. And I was like, why not just have it higher? So, yeah, I started charging by the hour. And um, I went on Craigslist. Because now I, like, have some, like, experience doing it. So now I went on Craigslist and was like, hey, like, I've done this for a few people. And this is how it, it goes. So I got a couple, I got a good amount of people off Craigslist. People really wanted to see this fucking art exhibit. How many hours have I stood? The most amount of, I've stood eight hours. I've stood eight hours. Yeah, I've stood eight hours. So, um, it's not so bad. And it's not, and there, and there was chairs too. So majority of that time I like took a chair and I was sitting down. Um, I wanted to say like things that you'll need for the lime standing job. Um, things you're definitely going to need a portable charger because how the fuck else are you going to get like in contact with the people? There's been numerous times, like, I would, I would have two portable, I have three portable charges, but I would have two on me, like, because, you know, you're waiting in line, sometimes I would go to sleep, sometimes I would just fucking go to sleep, because I'm sitting in a chair, I would wrap up, put music in, and go to sleep, and then, like, after a certain time, we had to put the chairs away, so, like, I would be standing, but, um, and then some jobs I have done where I just fully, like, was standing for hours, but, you know, like, how are you going to get in contact with your client? I don't know these people. I don't know their number by heart. I'm not going to write their number down. It's, it's all in your phone. You need your phone to be charged. So bring a portable charger. 
make sure your phone is charged before you leave so it's on 100 by the time you get there and then like by the time it gets to, like 40 because you won't be on your phone so like just bring a portable charger also a blanket because um when i started doing it this was like april yeah this is like around like april may so when i started doing it like it was cold in the morning so i would just like bring a blanket an umbrella and also with the pricing charge for weather always charge for weather and always 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 guilt trip so um there was numerous times i was waiting and like i always had my umbrella i always check the rain um weather before i left um i would like charge like i would charge an extra like five ten dollars if it was raining on top of it because it's like come on bitch like i'm waiting in the rain the whole thing is these people do not feel like waiting they're paying you to wait for them so if you are in inclement weather or th if things are happening you need to get paid for your services um some people wanted me to like take whatever they have to them like shoes or tickets or something to them you need to charge a fee like okay if i'm getting on the train and shit i'm charging to bring it to you charge for every little thing this is how you you make your money bring a jacket for the same reasons as a blanket um a book <laughs> bitch bring a book bitch um bring your app whatever if your music's on your phone bring i'd rather you have a separate thing so your phone don't die as fast but that's that's up to you i have an ipod and a phone just for the sake of that. Don't drink. This is major key. Don't drink anything. Don't drink a goddamn thing. That is major key. Don't drink anything. Like, no water, no nothing. You can get hydrated the night before, and before you leave, make sure you pee. Get every last drop out. As much, like, I went to the bathroom, like, like, at least four or five times. Sometimes just to make sure you get that last drop out. Because once you get outside, that's it. Like, there's bathrooms. Sometimes people are nice. Sometimes people are nice. And, you know, like, sometimes people are nice. And they're like, oh, can you hold my place in line? I need to go to the bathroom. And they'll be like, yeah, cool. Like, that's cool, whatever. But sometimes people ain't that nice. And I've seen it happen. I personally never got out of line. Um... Because I had to pee because I didn't drink. And um, I've seen people get out of line because they had to pee. And there was times where the, a security guard came and made a switch the line around. Someone kid got lost. And then, like, when you're at the bathroom and you come back, you don't know where your place is. And people had to go to the back. Um, like, it, like, anything can happen. Like, the person might be nice, but, like, you don't know something. They, they might leave and you come back and they're like, who the fuck are you? And, like, don't. Don't drink anything. It only happened to me once. Um, I, I didn't get out of line, but I had to pee so bad. Cause some cause it was cold outside. And I think the lady, the lady was so nice. Like, um, she was talking to us and she went to go buy coffee and she came back and bought coffee. And I was like, oh cool. And I was drinking the coffee. And then like an hour later, while I'm still in line, I'm like, why well, I gotta pee so bad? And I was like, I drank the fucking coffee. Bitch! When I tell you, I was like, I had to put my brain on another planet, another spectrum. Because I'm like, bitch, like, I got to pee. And I'm not getting out of line. Like, fuck that. So, don't drink anything. Bring dry snacks, if anything. Like, just things that, like, will settle your stomach. Things that won't create pee. Um, I ate a lot of crackers. I ate a lot of chips. Um, there's actually a lot of people in line that will, like, had food and will like give it to you. I had people give me donuts. I had people give me cupcakes. Um, people give me pizza. <laughs> like I've had a lot of people just give me stuff. And um, another thing, bring friends. A lot of the time, like since I was making money, I put my friends on like, hey, if you want to make some extra money with me, um, I would just take like 50%. Um, one of my friends didn't even want that. She was just like so like fucking astonished and proud that I was even doing this. She was like, man, just give me like like 20 30 percent or whatever i was like let's take the 50 and um but the thing about friends if you're bringing other friends on and you're um taking their 50 percent, make sure you have reliable friends because i have this one friend and he he would forget what days because i would i would assign everyone how many tickets so i'm like 
you were allowed to get tickets up to a certain time. So I was like, I'm getting four for five o'clock. You're going to get four for 12 o'clock. You're going to get four for 11. Um, there's been num like, there was a good three times where he was like late. He was just, he just got there just in time. And then he was like scared to cut. And I'm like, bitch, if you don't get here right now so I can get my money. Um, I was a pimp. I was just like, if you don't come get my money. <laughs> um, yeah, so like make sure your friends are reliable if you're putting other friends on so you can get more money because like that's where a lot of the money came from because I was able to get more tickets. But um, sometimes, there was a few times he was late and um, I was scared and I had to scam people. Uh, I had to become Joanne the Scammer for a second. And I had to like tell people that like, yeah, um, I need some for my little cousins. I need some for this, like my group or whatever. And like people would be nice. As long as you don't tell people, because sometimes I would tell them if, like, it was just me and I didn't need any extra tickets or, like, I didn't care. But, like, sometimes I would tell people around me, because, like, the funny thing that we're all standing in line, you're going to hear people say, oh, like, people get paid to wait in line. They're like, what, really? Da, da, da. And I would overhear this and I would be like, I would jump in and be like, because I like to talk sometimes. And I'd be like, yeah, like, I do that. And then, like, you get bombarded with questions. Um, I'll come back to that. But, um, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I was I would scam people and basically tell them like, yeah, can you give me some more tickets? And then from there I would sell some, you know, I went in line and I would get some more tickets. I would put them on Craigslist. You're not, you weren't supposed to sell the tickets, but I would just be like, you know, I'm a line stander and I waited in line. So you're going to wait, you're going to pay for my time and you'll get a ticket. You know, basically that. So, you know, I wouldn't fucking get my post taken down and go to jail or something. So I don't think I would go to jail. I think I would get a fine. But yeah, actually the funny thing I told these two girls because my friend wasn't coming and I asked them to get another ticket for me and I'll give them like ten dollars for it and um they was like what like you do that oh I'm gonna sell mine and blah 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 so they got up there they gave me my I just needed two tickets they gave me my two tickets and they went and sold th theirs they was fucking extra I was upset they fucking sold theirs for like how much was they selling theirs for I think 150 They was going the fuck crazy. Because I told you you're not supposed to sell it. You're supposed to sell your time. And I told them that. But they was actually on Craigslist selling it. That shit was fucking wild. Um, yeah, but uh, they came back the next day. And they was in front of me. They was in front of me. Like, I was walking into the line. And they was like, hey. And I was like, these bitches really try and get some money. Like, and they was living out Virginia too, so they drove down here to get their money. They was they was making money too, but then they was scaredy cats, and I was like, y'all need to get the fuck away from me, because when they gave me the tickets, it was like, how many security guards are around, and what's gonna happen, and blah blah blah. I was like, bitch, get your scary ass away from me. I'm about to go fucking sell my tickets legitimately. Y'all do whatever the fuck y'all wanna do. I ain't tell y'all to sell it. Y'all on your own. You don't know me. You don't know my face. I'm gonna take this week off. Bye. Um. But yeah, don't, don't, if, if the people seem dumb, like, just, just, just get away from, because it's just like, bitch, you're not about to get me in trouble. Um, back to the pricing, um, cash, always get it in cash, always, always get in cash. You can do apps too, I didn't do apps till later, apps scared me, um, because I felt like they could talk to their card com company and get it back, but once I did research, if you do, like, cash app, I think PayPal too, like once you send it, you can't get that shit back. But uh, I'd rather just have cash. Also, if you're doing something that requires like a time limit, just have them like meet you at that point. Just have them meet you at that moment. Like if people wanted their tickets, like I told you, they I had to get tickets at 10 o'clock. Um, people wanted me to like, you know, meet them later. And I did that in the beginning. I did that in the beginning. People wanted me to meet them later. And like later in the day, closer to the time. And I was like, no. I was like, no, because I did that once and it only happened once, but it only takes one time. It only takes one time for you to be like, fuck this, never again. Um, I met this woman. I got the tickets at 10. She was supposed to have it at 2. I was on my way to meet her and then she like canceled. And I was like, I already saw it was like sold my time and the rest of the tickets for that don't. And he had that one ticket. I was going to get, that was when I was doing $20, but it was already irritating because it's like, I waited in line for you. I waited hours in line. Like, what if that was my only person? I waited hours in line for you, and, like, I waited my whole day to come meet you, and you cancel. So after that, I was like, nope. So after that, if you're, like, handing off, so, like, if it's not something that you know somebody want, like, a phone or, like, shoes, like, it's not like they're going to cancel. And then they have to give you money to, like, 
So I'll, I'll explain how I look. So they have to give you money for things like that. So if you're getting shoes or if you're you're buying an iPhone or something, they're first have them. Um, this is when the app comes in. Have them send like forty or fifty percent of what you're waiting in line for to know they're legit. And then they also have to send you money for what um, what they what's what good they want. So if they're buying the iPhone, the new iPhone is like six hundred dollars. They're sending you six hundred dollars on top of whatever you you're gonna charge fifty percent for that hour. And then when you meet up with them, they can like give you cash the rest of the fifty percent, or they're going to um like send it through the app or whatever. They're going to pay you the other 50%. But that's what I had to do for um, some restaurants because I also started doing restaurants, waiting in line for restaurants that don't take reservation. Um, to know you're fucking legit, like I'm not about to go out there and you're like, oh, I'm not going to be on my way. At least you have 50% of what she was waiting outside for. So then it's like, okay, they canceled, but I still have some money regardless. So always do that. Like don't always go because it's never... You never know. People cancel. So after that, I was like, no. Um, if your ticket is at, I don't care if your ticket is at 8 o'clock. Like, I was telling everyone, meet me at 10. As soon as I get the ticket, as soon as I step outside. If you're not there no later than, like, 10, 30, 10, 45, I'm selling your ticket on Craigslist. I'm going around and selling your ticket. And people was like, okay, okay, okay. Because, like, you getting it now. Like, people was like, oh, I got to get up early. Bitch, you ain't have to wait in line. What do you mean you're not, you, you ain't got to wake up early? I've been here for eight hours. I was eight, nine hours sometimes because people crazy. People was waiting in tents. I'm not doing that. People was waiting in tents. I, it's not that serious unless I'm getting that, that major key, that major bank, but it's not that serious. But, um, yeah, um, always have people, like, meet you if it's a time-related thing. Always have people meet you before that time, like as soon as you get that item, because or you're like because they they might cancel, they might cancel. To do um, okay. So basically, when you start line standing, um, you don't have to, but I recommend it. So it, it, you're you want people to trust you. You're getting you're entrusted. People are putting their trust into you. They're entrusting you with their money with their time like people really want these items and they're trusting you to get them so what i would do when i first got there no matter how early it was like if it's super early they'll wake up and they'll see your text i would text them i would send a picture of where i was in line like the people in front of me in line and i would tell them like what time i got there to ensure like if you already told them like yeah i'm you're gonna be paying me for this amount of time i'm standing you kind of want to get there at that amount of time. Sometimes I would, like, get there a little later and still get the money, but, like, you know, it would be like, oh, it didn't go through. But, yeah, just, like, send a picture and, like, tell them um, where you are when you get there. And then, like, tell them throughout, like, um, maybe, like, an hour before whatever you're about to get it or whatever, like, oh, I'm getting close and, like, see you soon. And, like, more people was texting me than I was texting them. But I, um, I encourage that. Also, um, get the money first before you give somebody something. Um, like I said, sometimes you'll probably get 50%. You'll probably get like 50%. Uh, if you go through the first way, if you do app first, send me 50% after. Some people don't. Like unless you have pictures, you need people need to trust you. So if you have pictures and texts, um, usually you can get the 50% first like later on. But if you're a sole person that they met off Craigslist or like a flyer, they kind of want to pay you after, but um, if you're doing a 50% first, like just like get the money first before you hand it off. So you have some shoes, and you give them the shoes, just like say you're not getting me. Just hold everything hostage. And I would do that sometimes. I will wait until it's like you send me my money first, and then you can get these. Like I'll show them to you, but you're not gonna get it until I get my money. And then it's like you know, I just 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 always gotta be cautious, especially since I'm a woman. It's just like you just gotta be cautious. I just don't want people to try to play me. I you just can never be too careful. Um, don't, major key, don't take less than what you are worth. Don't take less. I told you, I started really low. I started really low. I started $20, and then I got to make in, like, like the most I've made in one day. And I told you, like, this is 10 a.m. that when you get the tickets. So, and I got the whole rest of my day. I've made, like, 500 in a day. 
I made like three, four, five in a day. Like people was tipping me on the ass and then it was like I had multiple people. When I had my friends, I would take their 50%. I made 500 and like some change in one day. So yeah, so I had this one guy cause um, on Craigslist, like we made it for like two weekends later. And basically like when I first told him, like my prices were low, but once people was like paying me more and telling me to charge more, I started charging more. And I had to let him know, but I gave him a full week Full disclosure, like I gave him a full ahead of time when prices would change. Always let people know when prices change. Like it might seem like, oh, they might not do it, but don't do nothing. Like you're waiting for hours. You're waiting for hours. It's cold outside. It's raining. Like get paid for what you're doing. So like I told him, like yeah, my prices are changing. Like I'm not charging that no more. That's way too low. Um, I, I'm waiting way too long and I and, and actually I my hours that I was waiting went up because I told you I started at like waiting four and now I'm waiting eight nine hours and I'm like okay it's not worth it anymore so I told him I, I gently and politely told him like yeah I'm sorry but I gave him a week so I'm like you can find somebody else this motherfucker gonna tell me you need to take whatever I give you and uh, we had a, like, we had a contract. I'm a bitch. You met on Craigslist. I tell you whatever the fuck I want to tell you. He was like, we had, um, an agreement and you need to go with that agreement and how dare you change the price and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I don't know who you talking to like that. Bye. Basically, don't let people talk you out of what you're worth. Like, you're out there standing. They're not standing. Don't let nobody tell you. Like, that guy was crazy. That guy was crazy. If I can get the text, I'll add him. I'll insert him, but that guy was crazy. Oh, afterwards, um, always have people text you so you can, like, build your, like, basically your portfolio that you do this. I would always screenshot the text so I could, like, send it to people to tell them that I'm legit. Um, if people are, like, you know, like, have people say, like, oh, thank you for this, and I'm going to tell my friend, like, always tell, screenshot that so you can, like, tell people, screenshot you with the person getting the item, just, like, have proof, because, once again, this is a trust type of thing, especially if you're doing it on your own, it's not through an app, this is a trust thing, people want to trust you, and once you get paid for things, like, you just be chill as hell, because regardless, like, you're getting paid, people try to cut in front of me, um, like I said, I'm getting paid for this. As long as it's not a hundred niggas. Like, even if a hundred people, like, if you get there early, I got there so early that, like, a hundred people could cut in front of me, and I'd still get what I need, and I'll still get paid. But it's like, if it's one person, it's just like, yeah, whatever. People around you got mad. The people around you gonna take care of it. Because you waiting in line for hours. Everybody knows each other's faces at this point. You stand in line for eight, nine hours. You know that who's in front of you. You know who's in back of you. You know who's on the side of you. You know who's down. Like, you know who's around you. You know your circumference. So, basically, like, I was chilling. But people, people won't take care of it. So, like, whatever. Like, I'd just be chilling. So, they was funny, though. They, was, they, was, they tried it. They really tried it, though. Um, one woman was like, I've been here since 8 o'clock. And we was like, bitch, where? You've been here since 8 when and we was here at 5, bitch! Like, you, you just fucked up your life! We've been here forever! I think we would've remembered you, so... People are gonna cut. Um, um, I did this for like a month. Um, I made like... It was mostly weekends, but it was like, a, it was a lot. And like, if you add it up, I made $2,000 in like a week. In like, maybe like 3, 4 days. But all together, the 2000 I made three. Yeah, I did the calculations. I don't know where I put the calculations somewhere. It was so much money. For, it was so much cash. Like, I was losing cash, but it was just like, I, I was finding cash. Like, oh, yeah, I did have money in this pocket, and I did have money in this purse. Like, yeah, like, it's very lucrative. It's a very fun business. It's very fun. You get to talk to people. If, you, if you're a people person, you get to talk, or even if you're not a people person, and you just want to, like, talk to the like you get to the side like some days I would like talk to the people around me some days I'm like bitch I just want my money I'm sleepy like and then I would give my money and go home and then if you do it up early like if it's an early job you got the whole rest of your day you could probably you could do this with an actual like legit job um with the money I had like I saved some and then like the whole summer I was just cool and I was just chilling like I just like been coasting this whole summer off the line standing money um here and then I still like 
and it's not as popping as it was the beginning of the summer. I get cert I get jobs every now and then, restaurants and different stuff. Like I get certain things every now and then. But um, yeah, it could, it's a very fun job. Like it's a very cool experience. I thought I would share my experience with you, give you a couple of tips, and yeah, um, you know. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope what it was helpful. Um, if you have any more questions, you can leave them in the comments. If anybody has any questions or didn't understand something, like um, I could probably explain it a lot better. I just wanted to give you my experience, and I thought it was, I don't know, I thought it was cool. And it was the reason why um, I wasn't on YouTube for four months. That was the reason. It was funny, because it was like I was working, and I, I was... I did more YouTube things working than I did fucking, um, not having a job, like, but it's fine, it's fine, I'm back on it, so, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, give me a like or whatever, so, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.